Let's cook the f out of a cowboy ribeye steak. I'm Coach Sean, and I'm here to show you how to take your favorite recipes and make them just a little bit healthier. You know what? Not today. Today, we're just gonna cook the best damn steak that we possibly can. We're going to season it well, smoke it on a Traeger, sear it on a grill. You don't wanna miss it. This is Coach Sean's Kitchen. Not wasting any time today. Like, subscribe, you know the drill. Let's cook a steak. Here, I've got a two pound cowboy ribeye steak that I picked up for the 4th of July because I'm a goddamn American. I'm going to begin by patting my steak dry and then I'm gonna rub the outside with olive oil. Next up comes our seasoning. I'm gonna begin with a good layer of kosher salt. Remember, we have two pounds of meat here. The meat can use the salt, so go heavy. After that, I'm gonna add a lot of freshly ground black pepper. Yes, freshly ground, it makes a difference. Now I'm gonna let this steak hang out on my counter for about an hour, hour and a half to slowly come up to temperature and allow that salt to begin working on that steak. While that's happening, I'm gonna begin prepping some corn. As far as how I'm gonna cook this steak, I'm gonna go with a Traeger reverse sear method. So I'm slowly going to smoke the steak on my Traeger and then I'm gonna sear it hot on my propane grill. Now before I actually sear it on my grill, I like to dip it in a really good herb butter to lock in as much flavor as possible. At the end, I will have some extra butter lying around and this method works perfect with grilled corn. Now our steak has been on the counter for about an hour and a half, let's head out to the Traeger. My pit is rolling at about 200 to 225 degrees. I'm gonna stick my cowboy ribeye on the grate. I'm gonna put in my thermometer and I'm looking for a 125 internal temp before I head over to my propane grill. By the time we sear it and rest it, it's gonna finish right at 135, perfect medium rare. The last thing I wanna do is put on that tray of butter so that it melts and that rosemary and garlic begin to steep in that butter. After an hour and a half, my steak hit temperature, so I removed it from my Traeger and I fired up my propane grill. So I went ahead and moved my butter over to my grill. I'm gonna take that ribeye steak, I'm gonna dip it both sides in that butter, and then I'm lying it on that super hot grate. This is going to sear three minutes aside, and if you want those grill marks, go ahead and give it a quarter turn halfway through. If you get flame ups, don't worry about them. When you have a steak that's this large, that super crispy exterior balances really well with that juicy and beefy interior. I gave my steak a quick temperature check. I was sitting right at about 132, 133. So I went ahead and pulled it. It'll keep coasting up to that 135. And while that's going, I'm gonna go ahead and sear my corn. I'm doing the exact same thing that I did with my steak. I'm gonna roll it around in that butter and I'm gonna sear it on the grill for about eight to 10 minutes, turning it about every two minutes until you get those beautiful grill marks all around the outside. It's always nice to have something else you can grill after your steak is done because it takes your mind off of waiting for a steak to rest. Now let's head inside and see how we did. Beautiful char on the outside. We got some nice grill marks on this steak. I love how it looks. First step is to remove the meat from the bone, but you keep that bone. That's some of the best nibbling on this steak. Let's go ahead and start slicing up this ribeye. You can see it's so juicy. We've got that edge to edge, medium rare, marbled beautifully. This is a steak to make an American proud. Since this steak is so thick and large, I like to finish it with a little flaky sea salt to season the inside of the meat. And there you have it, the best damn steak that I can cook. I'm gonna go ahead and plate this steak up. Starting with a strawberry and walnut salad with a lemon poppy seed dressing I whipped up earlier today. Then we've got that beautiful grilled corn and last but not least, that cowboy ribeye steak. What a beautiful American dinner. The taste test, everything you would dream for in a ribeye steak. Slightly smoky from the Traeger, the pepper makes it a little bit spicy. You've got that buttery and savory notes encasing the whole thing. And you know if you've ever had a cowboy ribeye steak that the best bites are the ones right off the bone. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. How could I make this steak better? And let me know what you wanna see next. If you like this episode of Coach Sean's Kitchen, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and give me a follow on Instagram. I wanna thank you for tuning into this episode of Coach Sean's Kitchen, and as always, you can make anything homemade and healthy.